In this tutorial, we'll be going over a keyword called this. That syntax prevents us from shadowing our code, and I'll show you what it means later on during this video. All right, well now, for now, let's create two variables in the int data form. Let's do x and y. Now let's create a constructor, but we don't have to create a constructor. We can also create a method. But in this tutorial, we'll be creating a constructor. And let's make sure, let's, well, you don't have to make sure, but in this tutorial, let's set an argument, int x and int y. We're declaring two new variables, but with the same name. So it will cause some confusion to Java. Because what we're about to do here is that we're going to use x equals x. Java doesn't know which x we're talking about. Are you talking about this x is equal equals to itself? Or is the global x is equivalent to this x? So that caused shadow. Yeah, that's caused a shadow. But le now let's make a, uh, a this syntax with a different variable. So let's have this dot y is equivalent to this y, the local y. All right, that syntax is referring to this global uh, variable right here, which is the y. So be saying, all right, this y or global y is equal to this local y right here. So uh, let's create an object for the main method. Tutorial t equals to new tutorial. All right, since we have something inside the argument, we have to have something inside for the value. So the value will be will be 40 and 50. So we should get x is 40 and y is 50. All right, so let's close that with a semicolon. And now let's output it. Let's do, uh, we have to use this variable t because this method is a uh, static while this uh, variable is not static. So we have to use the variable t and name the variable which is x. And now let's have system.out for the y. t.y. Mm, let's save that, compile it, and run. Alright, according to Java, for x is 40, but we really set it to uh, 40. Alright, this is how Shadow comes in. It'll mess up the Java program by saying, which x are you talking about? Well, they thought we're using our this x is equal to itself, which we really don't want that. We're actually referring that this x right here is equivalent to this x, and we use this x right here, and then the default value for this x is always zero. So that's why it output is zero. So now let's have syntax called this. And save that. We should get 40 this time for x. 40 and 50. Alright, well this concludes my tutorial over at this syntax.